Hello there, everyone. Toy Game Collector here bringing you something I'm really excited to show you. What am I looking at today? Today, I'll be going over my now mostly complete collection of Sugar Rush racers. Oh, those of you don't know. These toys were all released by the Disney Store back in the year 2012 to promote the movie Wreck-It Ralph. I have been collecting these for a little over two years now, and I now have a complete collection. Sort of. I'm missing two racers figures, and I'm missing one key. But besides that, I have a complete collection. Yep, now these are pretty cool. Yeah, all these characters came from a video game called Sugar Rush back in the movie. And they also appeared in the second movie, Ralph Breaks the Internet, but they didn't really have a big of a role in it. But the less said about Ralph Breaks the Internet, the better, because I did not like the movie. But the first movie, however, I do love. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. And one of the reasons why I collected all these. And these toys, from what I remember, cost around $10 back in the day. You know, having a complete collection like this is not easy. Because unless you were actively buying these back in the day... Now, good luck trying to find these on eBay. The carts themselves are not too hard to find, if you know where to look. The figures or the races, on the other hand, those are more harder to find than the carts themselves. And the keys, we'll go over the keys soon. That's a whole other story. So, who do we have here? And we have Swizzle Malarkey and his Tongue Twister. I'm not going to name all the carts because I don't know all the names of the carts. We have Snowy on a Rainbow. We have King Candy and his Royal Racer. Here we have Crumbelina de Caramello in her Tiramisu, I think it was called. We have Candlehead in her Birthday Cake Race Cart. Here we have Tavita Mutton Fudge in her Pink Lightning. Vanilla P. Von Schweetz in the Candy Cart. Rancis Flugabutter in the Kit Cart. We have Minty Zaki. We have Glory Dorange Boar, Adore Beasel Winter Pop, and Jubilina Bing Bing in the Chariot. Yep, I am really glad to have all these. Yeah, I remember when I, these first came out, I wanted to get some, but you know, my parents were kind of trying to get me out of toy collecting. They don't care now, but at the time, they were. My dad, probably, I think, trying to get me out of toys or whatever. Because the movie came out when I was in ninth grade of high school. It wasn't cool to be buying toys then, I guess. Now, I didn't like Sugar Rush at first when I first saw the movie, but at, over time it grew on me. Now, I remember seeing these. I, I remember thinking they look cool. When I learned that they made this many, I, I thought to myself I want to have all of them, but... I knew it would be a hard task. In fact, when I started collecting these, when I first got Vanilla P and Vances, I figured, you know, it'd be fun to collect them, but I'm never ever going to own all of them. Look at me here, two years later, I have all of them. I never ever thought I'd say that. Now, I'm going to go over some of the harder ones to find in this collection. One of the harder, two of the harder ones to find, Minty Zaki. And Swizzle Malarkey, those are two of the hardest ones to find out of the complete set. Yeah, Minty, I just got lucky on getting her in a lot. Same with Swizzle, but Swizzle, I had a hard time finding for the longest time. Like, used. And Minty Zaki, I completely forgot about her until I realized I almost had a complete collection and I couldn't find her anywhere. Yeah, Glory Orange Boy was another hard one. And so is Adore Beasel Winter Pop. Now, now, let's talk about these figures. The figures of the vases are probably some of the first things to go when collecting these things. So, they're not, they're not hard to find, but they're not easy to find either. Like, I remember I paid a hefty penny for some of these. Like, Gloyd and Adore Beasel, I paid 40 bucks just for those two figures. Because I had their carts and I wanted them complete. 
Yeah, one of the easiest ones to find for the longest time was Snow on a Rainbow. Yeah, to find her cart and maybe her figure wasn't that hard. I got her in a lot. One of the, two, one of the more sought after pieces in the collection is Vance's Flug of Butter, because everyone wants him. Oh, now I have three. I'll get to that in a moment. Yeah, I have three of these. I got this guy for like $25 in an auction. You know, I've seen this guy sell for $80. You know, Vanellope, this is the first one I got because Vanellope was my favorite character in the movie. Yeah, I got the cart first and I just ha randomly stumbled upon the figure. I actually debated for a long time if I wanted to get the figure, but I figured I'm probably not gonna get another chance, so I took a so I picked it up. Let's go over one of these cuts. Now, for example, we'll go over we'll go over Vanellope. Make sure that doesn't roll away. See, so yeah, just your standard race cut. This is this is all you got in the packaging when you bought these new. And each one of these racers came with a key. Yeah, the keys look like the gold coins that the racers needed to compete in the race in the movie. Now you push this button, and the cart would launch. And that was its selling feature. It was a nice little toy for $10. You know, I really wish I was collecting these at the time. I would have saved me a little bit of money, probably. Now the figures are a little, a little over an inch tall. An inch and a half, maybe. Yeah, they're really tiny figures. And as you can see, not all these cuts are in the best of condition. Like, Taffeta's Pink Lightning, you can see. Oh. You can see, like, the, the tire marks on her tires are fading off. I don't have a key for every cut. I don't have a key for Swizzle's cut. But I have keys for all of the, the rest of them. I guess the cut that would have to be probably the worst shape. It would either have to be King Candy because I'm missing the horn and the top part of the steering. Yeah, I'm missing the top part of the steering wheel here that holds the steering wheel. I'm missing the horn that he would have in the movie, and part of the back of his seat is cracked. It's not that bad, but that there is some damage. Normally, if you're gonna find these on eBay used, they're gonna be in played in condition. So you gotta remember that. One thing I will say, the racers do not fit in the carts very well. Good example, look at Snowana here. See how she's just leaning like that? Because there's these little spots that hold their feet in so they can stay in there. But they don't look that great in there. A bad, bad example would have to be Vanilla P. Just look at look how much she's leaning against her seat. Like, that's the best she's gonna sit in there. No joke. Another bad one I have in the collection would have to be Gloid because the, this part is cr it's falling apart, it's cracked, it's splitting up. I mean, for the most part, I'm glad to have these. Now, I'll take what I can get. Like, I'm not complaining too much. So, you know, if you're gonna collect these, you know, just be know what you're getting into. It's not easy getting a collection like this. We'll say also buying in lots. I have doubles. Anyone want to buy these? Like I'm planning to sell these on eBay or something. I have a Rancis with a figure. I have a Candlehead missing her legs. I have Crumbelina missing her arms. And I have another Rancis. For the longest time, I could not find Rancis. How is it now? I have three. Like, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know I got these in lots, but still. I, was, I have three now. When, for the longest time, it was hard just to find one. Well, anyway, I'm really glad to have this collection. I never ever thought I'd say I'd have a complete one, but I'm happy. I'm happy. Eventually, I will get a Swizzle figure for this, because Swizzle figures... The figure is more easier to find than the cut itself for some reason. Because you can get them out of China or something. Jubilina, I have no idea what I'll do. Maybe eventually I'll buy another one complete. I don't know yet. 
you know, I'm just glad to have a, have the cut of a cherry pie racer. Well, I really don't have much else to say. So I guess I'll sign the video off here. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, dislike, comment, subscribe, do whatever. And I'll see you all next time. This is Toy Game Collector signing off.